It is a video we've seen for months. Former Dallas police officer Amber Geiger pacing back and forth after killing her neighbor. And tonight for the first time we hear from the witness who was right there capturing that cell phone video. And she says investigators got the story wrong. Here's Matt Howerton. <laughs> This video spread like a wildfire. Former Dallas cop Amber Geiger frantically pacing back and forth after shooting and killing 26 year old Botham John in his own apartment. And now the woman who captured this viral moment is speaking for the first time. 60 seconds after the act. In a YouTube interview. In your estimation, how many shots you heard? Two. That woman, who only wants to be known as Bunny Babs, is one of the few witnesses to the shooting. I did hear the actual gunshots, um, and I heard a male's voice say, oh my God, why did you do that? Um, and then that's when I went outside. Geiger, who's now charged with murder, lived beneath John. She says she walked into his home thinking it was hers and thought he was a burglar. Babs told Advice Media Network, a YouTube channel, that there's no way Geiger could make such a mistake. The, the elevator, the garage, the hallways, everything is marked with what floor you're on. Multiple stations have tried to interview Babs, but instead she chose Philip Scott. Well, I went into the situation just to listen. To talk exclusively about that night. He's the host of the channel and didn't expect to learn that Babs' life hasn't been the best since that night. Oh, I think no one should have their life turned upside down um, for just recording a video who being just a citizen. Babs told Scott she was fired from her pharmaceutical job after uploading the video, claiming her company didn't want to be associated with a high profile case. She says she even received death threats online. Um, I did get a few threats from people saying they weren't going to leave any witnesses behind, um, telling me I needed to watch my back and stuff like that. And if all that's true, then on this night, more than one life changed forever. And Babs never named the company she worked for, so we couldn't independently confirm that she was terminated. She now has a GoFundMe set up to help her get back on her feet and to possibly fund a book about the night John was shot and killed. Right now, that fundraiser has over $20,000 raised. We reached out to Babs one more time to see if she would be interviewed by us. We didn't hear back. The DA and Geiger's attorneys told us they couldn't comment on her statements due to a gag order. At DPD, Matt Howerton, Channel 8 News.